Young Buck, why you keep lying, bro? Like, what is the reason for you to stay? Keep lying. You went on a Big Facts podcast. And everything you kept saying, you just kept saying, Big Facts. Big Facts. I think you make the call Big Black, Big Bank. I think you meant to call him by his name. He just kept saying, Big Facts. Big Facts. Young Buck, let me holler at you. You a liar. You a big liar. Go on here and drop one of them Buddha bombs. You know what I'm saying? Because this dude is a big liar. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we ain't coming with the heat. Oh, no. We coming with the fire. But I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't know where to start. But let's start right here. You said you did a whole video. You and 50 beef was fake. You and 50 got a video coming out. It was a fake beef, but you a liar. You lied about that? Okay, 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 okay. Exhibit A, but this is what 50 had to say about what you said. Shake my head. He only makes a fool of himself and the man he was dating for years. Angry every time he say he got catfish. Stop lying. 50 know you lying. You know you know you and 50 ain't had no video coming out. You know you know you and 50 might have some old music that's that's sitting around on 50 cigar table where he dump his ashes at. And um uh, that music probably ain't gonna never come out, but I mean don't nobody probably wanna hear that anyway. Um keep running around talking about how you was catfished, and you know what I tell people all the time? I say, okay, you know, we, we we have a lot of stuff going on with that, you know, surgeries, this, that, and the third. I'm uncomfortable even speaking on it, but let's say you get caught one time. I give you that. I'm going to say you got catfish. I give you that one time. Buck. But again... And again, and a different one, and a different one, and another one, and this one at the hotel, and this one at the house, and this one. You are a liar. You a liar, Buck. The pro see, the problem is not 50 Cent. The problem is you, Buck. Yeah, it's you. You have to look in the mirror and say, I messed up. And not only look in the mirror and say you messed up, but Buck, you messed up a lot. And now... You trying to cover your mess ups with lies. Well, I, 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 I had to do I had the vitamin water deal to the 50 with the fuck. What? You did what I did to deal with you? Boy, they probably wouldn't have sold nothing if they did the deal with you, fuck. Like, come on, bro. 50 was paying y'all. $50,000 a month to wear June clothes. Like, see, I hate this because, like I said, all, all the black artists try to run the black CEOs into the dirt. They try to run them into the dirt. When, even if you did never get a royalty check, but guess what? You had cars, you had chains, you had jewelries, your tax situation, you were lawyer, with, you could have get, you had enough money. To go get any Joe Schmo lawyer. You had enough money to go get an accountant. You had enough money. Now you want to sit up here and cry and try to blame 50 for it. Oh, he took the Reebok deal. He took the vitamin water deal. Da, 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 da. That ain't why you broke. That's not why you broke. You had money when 50 did all that. You had money. So why are you sitting up here trying to blame 50 for the fact that you broke? Now, 50 was trolling you about, you know what I'm saying, the transgender thing. Again, like, help me understand this, Buck. Like, 
You you big fat everything you say, big fat, big fat, big fat. How you get catfish two, three times? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Murder, murder. You ain't got catfish no two, three times, but you are a liar. You a liar. Then you try to make it seem like you innocent in the you and 50 Cent beef win. You was going on stage. Not with just people 50 they get along with, but you was going on stage with them this and 50. And that's what 50 had a problem with. While you try to, oh man, he was on stage with Jeezy. I had brought out Jeezy and T.I. And 50 was mad about that. Oh, I think that's cap and I don't think that ever happened. Because you had all the time in the world to say this. You just not seeing it now. I don't believe that. Um... But I do remember you getting on stage with the game, and at that time, it was around the time when, like, the whole G U not thing was over, because you was there when the game was running out on y'all. But I remember you getting on the stage with the game, and everything you were saying was like anti fifty, and it looked like you was just scared of the game in that moment. So like everything you were saying was like anti fifty cent or something. I don't know, but. Then, you know, like I said, it's just, you know, 50 just got the screenshots and getting still, you steady keep saying you got catfish. But, but don't nobody believe you. We don't, I don't believe you two, three, four, five times. That's something you doing. That's something you like. I don't care how many, like, it's people that go both ways out here. They're like men and women. So, if that's your thing, just come out and say that's your thing. DJ C or Mr. C or whatever his name is, he had to do it. Why you can't do it? He was being a man about it. He came He came out and said he wanted to see if the mans was about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if he did it, why you can't do it? Because you are a liar. Then now, oh my God, look. Now you said you ghost book, 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 book. book. You say you never seen a royalty check. You claim you ghost wrote for 50 cents. But, let, let, so let me get this straight. Lloyd Banks wrote in the club, and Lloyd Banks was credited for a writer in the club. His name has been in the credits from when that CD came out for writing it for the longest. How come people just not finding out Lloyd Banks wrote in the club? I have no clue. I do not know. But what I do know is, but now you saying you go. First of all, you goes roll for 50 cents is what you're saying. You say you brought him the vitamin water deal. You probably feel like you got on the Reebok deal. All this stuff like these wasn't the only brands out, Buck. So if all these deals went through you and you passed them to 50 and gave them to him, why you ain't leaving it on the table and just take it for yourself? 50 like to see people get money. And I'm going to tell y'all what, what I feel like that. 50 overpaid y'all. Your royalty check wouldn't have been not nowhere near as much as much money as 50 Cent was giving y'all. Not as much 50 as Cent was giving you. You know what I'm saying? You try to put... Everybody else in GUN and folk, well, well, if I go against 50, then they ain't going to do it too. No, they ain't not. Who's going to go against somebody that's giving them more money than the actual label is giving them? Only a dummy would do that. And then all the artists that did leave GUN and acted like 50 was the problem. Where they at? Where they at? You so good. You didn't need 50. You didn't need 50 money. Where are they? Where are they? I got from, from Kid Kid to Trav to, it was a lot of artists over there at G-Unit. You know what I'm saying? Where they at? The ones that's trying to blame 50 for everything when they wanted to leave and do their own thing, just like you was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And you still lying. You still lying. Go look in the mirror, Buck. You messed up. Constantly. 
You get you get recorded on the phone call. Fifty records you on the phone call. You think it's sweet? He records you on the phone call. You know what I'm saying? You crying all on the phone. I wasn't a yes man to fifty. I wasn't gonna kiss fifty, but I wasn't gonna do this and that. You ain't had no choice. What well, the choice did you have? You you literally ran around with money, females, uh, jewelry, everything, houses, uh, everything a man could possibly want. And you trying to act like, oh, it's 50 fault I lost it. Well, my lawyer was hired by 50 lawyer. My accountant was appointed by 50 accountant. My this, my this. What, what did you do for yourself, but? What did the, the big facts? What did you do for yourself? You ain't do nothing for yourself, bro. But lie. That's all you do. You lie. You get on Vlad. You lie. You get on. You get on the big fat podcast. You lie. You get on. You go on the Breakfast Club. You lie. It's in like all you could do was tell lies, and you know what's crazy? Cause fifty a better man than me because I wouldn't have gave you no more chances. And even after 50 gave you chance after 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 chance, you still continue to lie. You still continue to act like it's his fault that you broke. It's not his fault that you broke, but it's your fault you broke. It's your fault you ain't got no money. It's your fault you ain't handle your career better. All that is your fault. So I want to hear all this, all, all the vitamin, like you, you trying to make it seem like if you had the vitamin water deal, you would be straight. If you had the Reebok deal, you would be straight. If you did this, you would be straight. What? But none of that going to make you straight because 50 was already giving y'all more money than what the labels was giving y'all. 50 done already dished out more money than y'all made off y'all album before y'all albums even came out. 50 was babying y'all. 50 was spoiling y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I would have loved to have been on G Unit. And I'm gonna tell you why. If I would have been on G, I would have never left. I would have never left. I would have never dissed 50. I would have never left. Because no matter what you, if you feel like 50 just bother people for no reason, if you feel like he a bully, as far as G Unit go, I don't know one person that left that situation with 50 that got more money than when they was with him. Find me one. Olivia done did TV, uh, music, and she still ain't made the amount of money that she made when she was with G on it. But you, your mixtapes, shows up. You still ain't made the amount of money since you left G. Nobody has. And I ain't going to go to the graveyard because there's a whole bunch of artists that, that keep trying to say 50's the problem and they still didn't blow. They still didn't get no money. And they one of them and it's sad because it's you, it's you running around and you trying to act like all this stuff is 50's fault. It's your fault, but it's your fault. I don't want to hear about accounts and look. You had money to go buy them. You should have bought them. You didn't have to use them. It ain't, it ain't nowhere that say you have to use my lawyer. You have to use this. You have to do this. You have to do that. You could have went and got your own. But you ain't want to. And you know why you ain't want to? Because you don't want to tell nobody. See, Buck, I know. Let me let me, let me me holler at you. Let me, come, come here, Buck. Come here. Come here. Let me, let me holler at you real quick. Let me get in. Come here, check it out, check it out. I know something you ain't telling people. But I'm about to tell everybody. Because, see, everybody don't know this. But, on them G-Unit tours, you was getting like 500000 a show. Am I lying? Oh, okay. Big facts. But you don't want to tell nobody that because you're trying to run with this narrative that it's 50 cent fault that you broke and it's not 50 cent fault that you broke. It's your fault that you broke. So I don't feel, I, I do not feel sorry for you. I do not feel sorry for you at all. Stop trying to blame 50. Please stop trying to blame 50. Just stop saying that man's name 
And, and stop trying to say that you got catfish when you been caught with more than one of them people. You been caught with more than one of them, boy, ain't no cat, but ain't nobody catfished you that many times. Stop lying. You lied, you, you lied too much. And uh, you and you still want to be with Fifty? Oh, we do the the beef was fake. He said I'm finna make them hate you. Hubba dubba dubba da yabba dubba do. You are a liar and you are confused and you emotional and and then when you, when you have a breakdown, that's that's when you want to try to get it back together. But then. When you feel like you the man and you could do it without fitting, then that's when you get tough. And that's when you want to diss him. Then that's when you want to talk about him. You know you have. 50 don't hurt anything. You just saying the stuff that you think the masters of the people know. Yeah, 50 seeing you on that stage dissing him. Still brought you back to the fold after that. I would have never brought you back. I would have never made sure it was another dime in your pocket. At this point in time right now, you will be out here. Luckily... You had to go back to get back on your feet. He put you back on your feet again. He put you back on your feet. The IRS took your house. 50 got you another house. What are you talking about? I can't believe this. Anybody listening to this with a straight face and not getting mad is crazy. So you mean to tell me the man that you say is his fault that you broke didn't put you on two or three times again? 50 had to have some type. He had to have some type of love for you. He had to care about you too much. Record, record labels don't even do that. Unless you unless unless you was hot when you was there and then you like fall off and then you come like with another hot song or something like that. Cause other than that. They won't do that. That's just like if you take Mace with Puffy. Puffy know he still got Mace under contract. When Mace ain't doing that, Puffy ain't gonna speak on him. Mace could drop a verse right now and Puffy would be ready to put the whole bag behind his album. Just because 50 don't want to put no more money behind you because he put the money behind you. You go broke by spending all the money and then turn around and blame him. That's what this is really all about. Tell the truth, Buck. Then you say, I wrote 50 music, bro. I done wrote four songs where y'all is listening. 50 rap my words. What? Huh? What you write, Buck? What you write? And anytime somebody did write something for 50, 50 gave him credit for it. So what you write that he didn't give you credit for? I ain't never get a royalty check. You probably didn't deserve a royalty check. Royalty check for what? Royalty check for what? If 50 was like, but okay, I'll tell you what. Give me all the money back I gave you, and I'm going to give you your royalty check. Nowhere near the amount of money that you made and that you got with 50. So stop doing it, but yeah, you know better than that. You know why 50 really mean. You know why 50 act the way he act with you. And that's because several times, several occasions, time after time after time after time after time, you continue to go diss this man. You continue to go lie on this man. You continue to just be flat out bold, disrespectful towards this man. And for what? Why are you doing this, Buck? Why? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. It's like it's your last resort. It's like you blaming 50 always end up being your last resort after you go broke. But what about when you was balling? You weren't blaming 50 for nothing when you was balling? You weren't blaming 50 when he took you off that, off that cash money van? He should have left you on there. Because, see, if he left you on that cash money van, then we wouldn't even hide no you. You wouldn't have blow. Birdman wasn't going to put the bag behind the perk. Birdman ain't even putting the bag behind neck. Why would he put the bag behind you when he got his son? He got JR. He don't need you. He got Juvenile. He don't need you. Even with the BG. He don't need you. You weren't even hotter than BG. 50 take you. Put you with G-Unit. Try to give you G-Unit self. 
you, you go against him, he bring you back, put some, get you another house, get you some more jewelry, get you some more cars, you lose all that and did some again. I, I, I'm in shock. Like I'm, I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. At least, at least when Game took that route and went that route, Game stood on his own, bro. On his own, bro. Then, like, oh, like you been independent, doing what? Crying about fifty. That's the only thing you really been independently doing is crying about this man. That's like that show whole career. Look, if you do any interview, podcast, or anything, and can't say 59, I bet when nobody even care about it. I bet when nobody even watch it, when nobody even care about it. Notice this. You ain't went on none of these interviews, and anybody said, so uh, do you got new music coming out? Because don't nobody care. They want to know about the trans people. They want to know about... The, the, what you and 50 Cent, but ain't nobody looking in your face and telling you the truth, Buck. But I'm going to tell you the truth, Buck, because I know the truth. You messed up. Not once, not two, but probably four, five times. And like I say, 50 a better man than me. Because after that one time, I wouldn't even brought you back. I, I would have made sure your pocket stayed dry like a desert I wouldn't even brought you back I wouldn't even want to do business with you no more I would have acted like you and I would have been like young buck who who was that who was that when 50 do interviews they ask him about power this, that. and 50 ain't hopping in no interview and they ask him about young buck that goes to show you how powerful his name is like I say if 50 Cent would have signed me to G you know, I would have never left I would have never asked for a royalty check. I would have never royalty. Who cares? I'm writing raps for Fifty. He still. Who cares? Fifty was one of the only CEOs, and it's a it's a known fact that Fifty is one of the only CEOs that was giving his artists more money than record labels, and that's what it boiled down to. That's what you was doing it for, right? I then. You trying to make it seem like you broke because you ain't getting royalty checks when you was getting five hundred thousand a G on the show. You trying to make it seem like uh you was cat you was catfished by the other people when you got caught two or three times like that. You trying to make it seem like you broke because Fifty took the vitamin water. He took the rebar. He did it out. He did it He also took you off that cash money bus. I don't wanna hear it, Buck. You a fraud, and you a liar, and you not solid, bro. You not re you not real at all. Fifty Cent did more for you than any anybody. All your homies, D T, and, and uh, I forgot the other dude, the boss, whatever his name is, and all. He did more for you than they did. Yeah, did way more for you. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to end this video, man, because I could go on and 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 on. Because I know the truth, but, oh, I was a big Jiggy fan. So, I know I know the stuff that didn't hit the mass media. I know it, yeah, because I was a super Jiggy Unit fan. So I know everything that didn't make it to, you know what I'm saying, the mainstream, man. Everything that this internet era don't know, man. How y'all was moving it? Yeah, I know all that. Bucko, we know all that. But for the, the way you slandering 59, you wrong, Buck. I hope he never work with you again. I want to give you a dime. I want to give you a dot. 50, if you, hit, if you hit this, don't give him nothing. Matter of fact, 50, sign me. The Buddha, the, the Buddha, the Buddha Unit Podcast. I like the way that sound. Yeah, then 50, come give me a deal. The Buddha Unit Podcast. You want to talk about some truths? We got truths. Because you going around lying on this man for nothing. For nothing. And 50, I don't, I don't need 500K a show. I don't, even, I don't even need that. 50, you give me 100K right now, we gone.
We we going with the hundred K right now. The Booty Unit Podcast. Well, somebody tell Fifty holler at me, man. But tell him stay away from Buck, cause he ain't real. He ain't solid. He a liar. He messed up, and he trying to cover up the fact that he messed up countless of times by slandering Fifty Nine, the one person that has given him more money than he ever had in his life. If you'd have stayed on cash money, you'd have never seen that amount of money with Birdman. You'd have never had that much money if you'd have stayed with Birdman. You should be kissing 50 G units. You should be shining 50 G unit shoes. That's what you should be doing. You should be the last one talking about 50 Cent. A man that took you from the cash money graveyard. A man that paid off your taxes. A man that got you back in the house after they took your house back in the cars after they took your cars back in. Ju- I'm out, man. I'm feel, I'm, I'm out, cause I I be all day talking about this. I'm out. But somebody tell Fifty Cent I said how them Buddha Unit Podcast. Let's get it, man. It's your boy Buddha. I'm out.